My name is Joan Gary, and along with my dear friend and colleague, Kevin Jennings, Yay! Yay! we are the co-chairs of Barack Obama's National LGBT Finance Committee. We are extremely grateful to everyone in this room for being here. Before we go on, I do want to acknowledge someone who is not here tonight and say that our thoughts are with Joe Biden and his family tonight. We are sorry he couldn't be here. And again, our condolences to Joe and his family. Um, a few thank yous. Let's start at the top. Our hosts, Stephen and Judy Luxor. <laughs> I have wow. done many fundraisers in this space, and I want to tell you there is a kind of magic and power in this room, and it is not unlike the power and the magic of Stephen and Judy Gluckster. Yay. Yay. Mr. Gluckster and his wife Judy were one of the earliest folks to jump on the Barack Obama bandwagon. Some of you were even here in April of 2007. Stephen and Judy are also two of the fiercest straight allies the LGBT community has ever had. A couple of other quick acknowledgments. There are some campaign staff members here, too many to mention. Uh, the uh, DNC, Andy Tobias and Tom Petrillo. <coughs> um, Thank you for your commitment and your dedication and for the support that has made this event as successful as it has been. We were given an invitation with Katie Lang's name on it, and I don't know where Katie Lang is, but your music will be our gift tonight. Thank you so much for being here. No. We were given this event seven days ago. Last Monday, anybody remember last Monday? Yes. The market dropped several hundred points. Not exactly the <laughs> ideal day to begin to ask people for money. Why did we sell this event out? Why did we raise, exceed our budget expectations, raising over $600,000? <laughs> extraordinary host committee that worked like dogs this last seven days, but I think there's something else. I think that each person in this room recognizes that the very best and perhaps the only really good investment that any of us can make is doing whatever it takes to ensure the promise and the opportunity of a President Barack Obama. beyond honored to introduce um, President Clinton tonight, <laughs> uh, who generously stepped in uh, in Joe Biden's shoes, and for that we are enormously grateful. Um, <laughs> I had um, planned to tell this very brief anecdote when I thought I was introducing Joe Biden. But the truth of the matter is it's a much better anecdote in this context. In December of 1998, my partner and I, Eileen, who is in LA and is not here tonight, uh, we were invited to a holiday party. It was at your house. <laughs> and so there we were, at your house, <laughs> standing in the East Room. It was magnificent. It was decorated so beautifully. There was music playing. Um, there were men and women dancing. It was kind of spectacular. And so I turned to my partner and I said, would you like to dance? And my partner looked at me with a look I've seen about a thousand times in 27 years. I call it the are you nuts look. <laughs> 
So I bided my time, waited a few more minutes, and looked at her again and said, you know what, Eileen? This is our house, too. And Eileen grabbed my hand, and we walked to the dance floor. We didn't dance for very long. <laughs> and we didn't dance very well. <laughs> but in that moment, both literally and figuratively, the White House was ours. It is worth noting that we have not been invited <laughs> I don't think it was the dancing. <laughs> um, and that's why I think we're all really here, actually. Because we know that the White House does belong to all of us. All of us. Regardless of who we love and the color of our skin, whether we're men or women or young or old, the White House does belong to all of us. And I would actually argue it needs to belong to all of us. Because America's diversity is its strength, and it is part of what defines us as a nation. And somehow we have lost it. And God knows we have got to get it back. Um, it is in that spirit that I introduce um, a man who understands and always has that the White House belongs to all of us, President Bill Clinton. Yay! Thank you so much, Kevin. Thanks.